Our sixth inductee is Peter Nee. Peter played on Villa Julie's first two men's lacrosse teams in 1995 and 1996. Named most valuable player as a senior after totaling 56 goals and 27 assists. And he has 85 goals and 38 assists for 123 points in his career, ranking just outside the program's top 10 in both goals and points. Certainly in terms of excellence, he pushed himself every day uh, on the practice field, on the game field. He demanded it of himself. He demanded excellence of his teammates. He expected excellence of the coaching staff and others around him. And in total, he pushed the program to a level that had he not been there, um, it, it would not have reached. And Pete was certainly a, a, a pillar in that regard, in that he was constantly mentoring the younger guys. He was taking them off to the side and saying, yeah, coach might be getting on you and you might be a little uh, upset about it, but here's why, or here's what you need to do, or you know, don't take it personally. It's, it's to make us all better, that kind of thing. First and foremost, certainly his name is, is in the Village Uli slash Stevenson lacrosse record books. Um, as I said, he was our leading scorer. He was our go-to guy for a number of years. He probably held the single season scoring record uh, at the institution. But beyond that, and more importantly than that, he was a guy you knew you could depend on. He was a guy who was going to make the right decisions, who was going to do the right thing, even when peer pressure maybe have been, may have been pulling him in a different direction. Um, he was the kind of guy that every coach wanted to have. You had to tell him something once and only once. Um, you know, all, all coaches say there's, that great players make great plays in big moments. And he not only did that on the field, but I would argue that as a Village Uli student, as a Mustang, he did great things in big moments when most of us don't even know about it. You know, I'm sure that he could tell us many stories, and he may not recognize it, of times when he led through example, whether it was in the classroom or in a social environment or in, a, in the workplace or what have you. He's just one of those people, one of those individuals that people will follow and, and who has a magnetism about him. From the class of 1996, it is my honor to welcome Peter Nee into the Dick Watts Athletics Hall of Fame. Thank you very much for having me here tonight. I want to first of all uh, congratulate the rest of the inductees. Clearly they are well deserving. And uh, I'd also like to thank the people on the Hall of Fame Committee. I am very honored and humbled that they would consider me for this, for this award. So thank you very much. Um, as Tracy's mentioned, she was here at the same time I was, so we went through many of the same struggles, getting funding, getting uniforms, getting equipment, uh, being able to field a team. And that's one of the things that I remember most about it. Um, if you look at lacrosse teams today, look at Stevenson's team today, they have 40, 45 people on the team. When we were there, we had 10 people, and we actually had to go into the cafeteria to recruit people. And so for us to get to the 14, 15 people we had on the team, uh, we were pulling people who had no experience at all playing lacrosse. So uh, as you can imagine, a team that size, you know, when we would travel, we didn't have to charter a bus. We just took the school vans, would show up, and so no one was ever intimidated by us. As we, uh, as we got to the, uh, the, to the team we were playing, they were like, oh, the biggest guy on the team is the assistant coach. So that was never really a problem. And as you can also imagine, um, we were not the most skilled team either. Uh, we had a lot of guys who uh, 
who just bought into the system. And that was the one thing about it that I will always take from my time here is we had a small team, not always skilled, not always the biggest, but they would show up every morning at 6 a.m. for practice for two, two and a half hours. Uh, a lot of our practices were based off of ball drills, trying to, a lot of the guys trying to learn to catch and throw, but we made it through. Uh, we didn't always win. A couple games we actually got pummeled, but uh, you know that's going to happen with teams, but we worked hard. And our last season here, I think, was the first season we ever broke 500. And so I, I think Trey Shackelford and Ricky can verify that for me. They're back there somewhere. But um, that's the one thing we still, I, I made lifelong friendships here, enjoyed it very much, and we still get together from time to time. And it is, uh, it's very funny to hear the stories from way back when, how, uh, I don't know, things have gotten better all of a sudden, but uh, we know back then, I mean, Chip Rouse can, can vouch for us all when, you know, they, she knew that her desk was sometimes going to be used as a, <clears throat> someone's going to be resting or uh, icing their foot on her desk or, or uh, getting some kind of medical treatment from Kit. But um, I just want to again say thank you very much. I have, uh, I enjoyed my time here so much and cherished it more than you could possibly imagine. And I, before I am finished, I want to thank many of my friends from high school and college who are here. Very surprised and I'm thrilled that you guys were able to share this with me. I appreciate it very much. Um, my siblings, uh, my twin sister Patty, my brothers Tommy and Brian are here. Uh, if Tommy, my brother, has to leave at any moment now, it's because his wife is seven days uh, past her birth date for their first child. So if he ever has to, if he has to see a grown-up walking out, it's probably Tommy. And um, of course, I have to say thank you very much to my mom and dad, who supported me with everything, supported all of us with everything, have been there for all of our ups and downs, um, don't miss a thing with their grandkids. They say yes to everything. Whenever we need help with anything, I could never, I probably don't say thank you enough, but thank you very much, Mom and Dad. We all love you very much. And then, of course, um, hopefully it hasn't been too loud, but uh, I want to say that by far my best creations are my four kids back here, my twins, Josh and Charlotte, who are eight, Christopher, who is six, and Charlotte, I mean, excuse, and Spencer, who is four. Spencer, you looking, bud? There you go. <laughs> you guys bring too much fun and excitement and noise to our house, and it's something that we will never forget. And of course, uh, last but certainly not least, is my beautiful wife, Jen, who supports me in everything. When there is total chaos and all, everything is breaking down the house, she is somehow able to put a ribbon on it, tie it together, and smile, and make sure we flow smoothly and believe me, that's a big deal for all of us. So again, I want to say thank you very much to everyone here and congratulations. Thank you.